Oh, started again automatically, isn't it? Second time now. That, <laughs> that, 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 that thing just switches itself <laughs> on here. This is quite funny. Hello and welcome. <laughs> this is for um, Pisces. My side. <laughs> and um, this is your July 2022 general reading. You are watching Thomas' Tower page with myself, Thomas. And like my guest this month is Charlie Evans. Hello all. Thank Very you welcome. Me. And normally I leave a uh, link in the description box um, how to contact Charlie and her page is not up and running yet so I have to do this at a later stage. Um, be this as it may, what we will do here for Pisces here, we will look at uh, you um, a bit more in depth and to do that we're separating or dividing um, the reading into areas if that makes sense. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of July 2022 for the very sign of Pisces before we then go into your emotional core which means um, whether or not there's love coming in, what can go, what needs to heal, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. Now before we do all this remember we are in the month of July which means we're moving from Cancerians to Leos. Now Cancer is governed by the Moon and Leo is governed by the Sun. And while the Sun and the Moon are oftentimes close together, they do not share space well. In a birth chart, it is really important when they are not so close together, you are less affected by their energies. right? But because we're moving literally from the Moon to the Sun, especially around the time that we're moving into um, Leo, which is on the 23rd of July, you can expect a bit of roughness with regards to whatever it is that needs shifting, if that makes sense. So this might not be the most um, uh, harmonic um, or harmonious months, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll, we'll wait and see. It doesn't mean that it has to be super fictitious, but just be aware. We're going from one extreme to the other, and that may well be... Um, um, highlighted in your in your reading, if that makes sense. So now we're looking at the over to over overall energy for the month of July 22 for the sign of the dreamer, which is Pisces. Um, yeah. So your card for your overall energy is Earth connection. Um, so this is about being grounded this month, Pisces. So just make sure that you're keeping your head screwed on, that you're using nature around you. Um, to help you uh, regulate, to help you relax, but to help you make those decisions that you need in a calm, relaxed, um, beautiful manner, I want to say, that you're embracing nature this month and you're using it to your best advantage to keep yourself grounded and connected with the earth so that you can make the decisions and use the opportunities to your best advantage that are thrown at you this month. Thank you so much. And while, when you were saying this, I have a new drum um, that I wasn't thinking about and I just heard drum. So uh, here we go before we move on to the next uh, topic, because this is about, be for us Pisceans, about being grounded. So I'm going to just quickly um, use that drum. This is actually a comfort drum that I haven't had long. <clears throat> and I just feel I should play this now um, to help with the grounding. Here we go. Right. You ready? awesome and as you can see I don't know if you can see this here it changes from green to copper oh wow huh? awesome anyway I'm a big child I'll probably do this for hours now <laughs> so that that is the end of the reading goodbye no, I'm just messing. <laughs> <laughs> here we go um, but I just felt drawn to to playing this if that makes sense um, so thank you very much and now we're looking at the um, your emotional core as it were the stuff we do <laughs> it's all over the place. Anyway, we have, or you have, well, it's, it's for Pisces, so it includes me. You have crystals and amplification for your emotional core. And because we're being asked to crown, we're also being asked to amplify the strengths and the power we actually naturally possess. And crystals are not only awesome in doing this, so you're not necessarily asked to get yourself a ton of crystals. Um, 
you are basically being asked to understand if you ground yourself, um, you will feel that you're getting stronger. And when you have crystals, it just means that you will very likely be drawn to adding crystals to your life um, to help you with finding your strength. Because that's what I'm getting with regards to the emotional core for Pisceans. What I'm thinking here, and it's really speaking, what I'm getting in a daily speaking is there's quite a bit of, of things happening. One of them is that um, the next card that sort of fell out here that I just pay attention to now is the stone people. And what the guides are saying to us Pisceans is, you know, we're all ancient. I look it. But the point is, <laughs> we're all ancient. And understanding how old you are is understanding how many times you have gone through things and you always survived it you always come out stronger so this month is when it comes to energy energy with regards to our emotions is about healing but more more so it's about letting stuff go you are not burdened with more new things they're not asking you to figure stuff out to sort stuff this is about no i'm just looking at how do I feel in the scheme of things? That's really, really important. And because we have the stone people whose topic is, is, is the knowing, which means you have an inner knowing about what needs to happen right now. But this is about self-healing. Make no mistakes about it. While um, the sign of the dreamer, Pisceans, Pisces, we are governed by Neptune. Neptune's only job is to bring spiritual awareness to the table, right? But they're not asking you, we're not asking you, the universe is not asking you to be to be more spiritual. The universe is asking you to also give you some of that energy so that you heal. So this is about us Pisceans knowing. Is actually that's what we're getting is to make time for yourself um, so that you can just relax, be yourself. And because the drum came in, right, let stuff go, cleanse yourself if you are uh, not someone who knows how to play drums, there's people out there that do sound healing, there's any other any other healing modality, you don't have to go it alone. There's a reason why there's why there is um therapists out there who do a lot of so called alternative stuff, if that makes sense, or complementary, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, so you can ask for help, if that makes sense. If you can reach out, you can invest in yourself, Pisceans, but you are asked this month <clears throat> by the universe to do just that. Um, to pay attention to yourself. It doesn't mean you let go of other people and you're not interested in them. But this feels to me, July, as a bit of a month of reflection as well. So let's do that. And now we're looking at the um, opportunities, or for, uh, uh, at opportunities, as they present themselves to you in the month of July 2022 for the sign of Pisces. Uh, so I've got two cards for you, but they work pretty well together. So it's a manatee and the goose. So it's about accepting the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it and taking the time to rest and recuper recuperate rather than continue continuing your strive striving. Sorry. <laughs> so um, this is about you've been trying to work at something for a while. You've been trying and trying and trying and it's telling you we recognise that you've been working hard, but now is not the time that it's going to happen. So take a rest. You've done a lot of work, but it's not working for you right now. It will come back at a later stage, but now is not the time. So make sure to stop donating your energy to it because nothing's happening for you presently. Come back to it at a later stage, but just recognise you, you are working to that purpose. You are setting your intention. It's just not going to work for you right now. Um, so we can apply that to your money. So just make sure that if you're budgeting and it's really not working, that you look at it from a different angle. Look at it from, okay, I'm restricting myself and then going crazy. What can I do instead to help me? Or if you're spending so much and you think, right, this isn't really working for me now. Like, I'm trying to have a good time and spend, have all the bells and live in this moment. It's not working for you. It's just a time of reflection and going, look, you've, you've tried, that isn't working for you right now. How are you going to come back to it later on? And what can you do presently to change the situation to make things better for you? So just have a good focus on that right now. Thank you so much.
That's going to be difficult. <laughs> yeah, good <Right>? luck, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In any case, that's all we got time for. Please like, subscribe and share. Because remember, if you subscribe, you will no longer uh, um, have to guess <laughs> as to when videos come out. People actually text me. Where is the next one? Always at the end of the month? Duh. Right? <laughs> right? But if you subscribe, you know, there's a better chance for you to be notified. If that makes sense, right? So that's all we got time for. This actually for us at least concludes the 12th video. So we have done all our work. Charlie, thank you so much for doing this with me. Nice, thank right? you for having me. Because we've been talking for England now, haven't we? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, my jaw is hurting. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and um, yep. see you around. Bye-bye. Thank you.